right, my friends. What do you do with your anger? There is so much going on in today's world right now. So much negativity. So much anger. So much accusations. And just... And you cannot escape it. Well, there is no escape to that. How do you deal with that? What do you do when you see something that it just boils your blood? Hi, my name is Lucia Mitra, and I would like to give you a few suggestions or tell you how I deal with that. In a past, unfortunately, few years, and at least year, uh, there have been elections going on in the United States, and now we have a new president. Um, and there have been a lot of instances that, even though I'm trying to stay away from politics, I'm being drawn to that, like all of us. There is a lot of stuff um, that I've been seeing my president um, Donald Trump to do that I disagree and it angers me and then it angers me that it angers me <laughs> um, I know all new new age people are telling you you know you should not be angry there is something wrong I've been told that you need to work on yourself there is something wrong if you can if you get angry now there is get angry and there is acknowledge your feelings I get angry for a few seconds and then I deal with that I disagree with stuff how been handled but on another side I do know that there is more to the story there is always more to the story um, Stuff is never happening how, how it seems that it's been happening. There is always more to the story. And I do understand this. Um, but I still can disagree, in my opinion, how stuff could be handled. And there have been instances that it really uh, triggers in me something that I thought it was healed long time or <sighs> forgotten I guess it was not that it's keep coming back and I can see um, especially in a woman uh, that been through a very difficult relationship abusive relationship especially with narcissists that I've been to uh, I can see how horrible trigger some of the words and actions that our president did could trigger um, painful memories or still pain in us. So how I dealt with this, how I'm dealing with this. In the very beginning, I learned, figure out, I learned to set up boundaries. I always been setting up boundaries, but I rarely enforce these boundaries uh, as much as I'm, as I'm enforcing them now. Especially when it comes to social media, where it's so easy to hide uh, behind a fake name, uh, so easy to hide behind a computer, and people will never rarely say to your face what they are saying to you online, uh, especially the cowards one. And um, I always learned and I always listen to other opinions because I understand there is more to the story than it's a story. So I understand I don't never have complete pictures of the information, what's going on. So I listen, I always been listening 
to other opinions. And if I state my opinion, I really um, like to let know that this is my opinion, how I see it right now. And I have a right to change my opinion, but I have a right to stand by my opinions too. So uh, lately or around the election time, I really had to set up the boundaries. You, if you come into my space, and it's not just, oh, Facebook or any social media uh, that, oh, it's, you know, you can write because everybody can see it or just friends can see it. No, you are coming to my space. You are walking into my house. You are walking into my living room. It is my space. And I can say whatever I want to say there. I put there whatever I want to there. I wanted to open a communication. Communication is always open. But if you come to my space, my energy space, and you start harassing, insulting my friends or me, we are going to have a problem. And that's when I start enforcing my boundaries are really strict. We can communicate, we can have a discussions, but I will not allow people to insult or harass any of my friends, nor me. So once I start setting the boundaries on social media, I start setting and enforcing the boundaries in my life too, everywhere in my life. And a funny thing happened. Suddenly, I have more peace in my life. I have more beautiful friends in my life. I have more people respecting me, more respect in my life. So that would taught me that we can be friends, we can have a discussions, but we don't have to allow people to be towards us that it makes us feel inferior or any less that we are, because we are all equal. Like so, boundaries, and I'm telling you. If it not of presidency of Donald Trump, I don't think so. I would be enforcing my boundaries as much as I did now. And he changing my life in a beneficial way. Another thing what I learned during this past year is... Um, hmm. I was very active once upon a time in politics and I got very disappointed soon after and I saw that's not my place and I kind of tried to stay away from that. Well, this past year kind of drove me back to that and it's not about a politics but I realized that we cannot stay silent. And I have a really nice quote, what I'm trying to say here, from Ali Weasel, that he said, we must always take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourage the tormentor, never the tormented. It brings truth to me. 
because if people if good people stay quiet the negativity will rise so it's our duty to do voice our opinions it's our duty to stand by what we believe in it's our duty to stop being quiet it's our duty to participate in what we believe to to do something because we all matter every single of us matter and we can do good just one kindness a day can change the world watch what's going on see what angers you it's okay to be angry you have to feel through that feel it acknowledge it see why this is triggers you why this is makes you angry and then see what you can do to change it into positive how can you change it in your life what can you do in your life that you can turn it into more positive and helpful. What can you do? What is it that angers you? What is it that you are going to do about this? How are you going to change the world? Because changing the world, you need to change it yourself first. What are you doing in your life for yourself that can help all of us? Get involved. Get off the couch. Do the one kindness a day. See how you can help others by helping yourself first. Because there is so much good in this world that needs to be shown. There is so much love that needs to come out. There is so much change that we can do together. Stop that fear. Stop that negativity. understand that we are all one there is no separation there is no judgment stop judging everybody as a community instead of as a human being we are all one but we are each a candle to light of one candle and if you dim, if you dim your own light, you're dimming the light for everyone. But if there is a one person, one candle can light up all of us. So please write down, share with the rest of us. What are you doing? How are you changing? What troubles you? What angers you? Into what rises you? I'm looking forward to all of your messages and please share it share it with the rest of us so we can help each other i love you very much